You got three sheets there. I said, now, two things you need to do. One is pray, and one is read your Bible. And then there's a third thing, you need to find your good church. She said, where do you go? And I said, I go to Davis Boulevard, at his church. She said, well, good. Do you, you happen to have a car? And I said, I sure do. I got me a pastor in there as a star. And I gave to her. Tell it to others, wherever you go. The shepherds went out and said, let us tell others what's happened. And you can rest assured that those dear shepherds, not just for a few days, but for the rest of their lives, they told others what they had seen, what they had heard, and what had happened on the hills of Galilee. Oh, we need to tell others what's happened to your life. When God came in and Jesus saved and the Lord became real and the light shone and you're walking in the light. Praise God. That grand, that gospel is for everybody. Tell it to everybody. Everybody, Jesus said in Revelation 22, Jesus said, I am the root of David. I am the bright and the morning star. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come to me. And he that hears, let him come. And whosoever will, whosoever will, let him come to me and drink of the water of life freely and fully. And so Jesus is open to everyone that comes to him. Come to him and don't be ashamed. Come to him because he's watching, looking, and he's calling and drawing you to himself. Every morning you wake up, Remember, look to Him, call on Him, come to Him, because He's going to walk with you that day throughout the day. They went back and they praised and they glorified God. Verse 20 says, And they praised and glorified God for what they had seen and heard. Praised and glorified God. That's what we need to do, isn't it? We need to praise and glorify God. Amen. The best thing you can do, dear friend, is to praise God and glorify Him. Praise God and glorify Him. When you start your prayer, just spend some time praying and praising Him. I don't care if your heart's broken and you've got to go to Him for a need that is breaking your heart. First of all, begin to praise Him. Just praise Him and praise Him and glorify His name because He's God. He's God. He's your God. He's a great God. He's the only God. He's our God. Praise God. He's your God. My God. And that's great. We need to glorify Him and praise Him. Amen? Amen. Amen. The angels sung, and the message was real, and the shepherds heard, and they reacted, so we should do it at Christmas. Then he closed with this little illustration. There was an artist that painted a beautiful painting on canvas and it was an unusual painting in that it was just mountains, beautiful mountains, mountains, trees and mountains. And then he put a little cabin in the middle of the mountains, a cabin. And then he began to paint with the trees were bending with the wind, showing that there was a storm. The wind was howling, the wind was blowing, and then he put some sleet. The sleet was falling. And it was cold, and it was windy, upon those dark mountains, and in the middle of them sat this little cabin, dark and forlorn and lonely looking. And then he touched his brush with bright orange, and he touched the windows of that little cabin, and put a wisp of smoke from the chimney. It changed the whole concept of that painting. And he named it Peace Amid the Storm. And then when you looked at it, you didn't see something hard and harsh and lonely. You saw something of comfort and joy of a family around the fire, warm in a house with love and protection from the wind and the storm. God looked down on that world. And it was dark, and the winds were howling, and the sleep was falling. And it was dark, it was dark, it was dark, it was dark for all of us. And then he touched his brush in bright orange, and he touched it 
in a little manger in Bethlehem. And it changed the whole picture of the world. Light, praise God, God's light had come. And it speaks of comfort and hope and life because Christmas has come. Praise God, Christmas has come. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will toward men. Amen. Amen.